Where are the most expensive places to live in Michigan? I bet you think you know, but you're probably wrong. I have no idea. Even if you've lived in Michigan for a long time, you probably have never heard of the most expensive place to live. We're gonna change that. Even I was surprised. By the end of this video, you are going to know exactly where the most expensive cities are in Michigan, and we're starting now. If you're new here, my name's Paul and I make videos like this one to help people like you make better decisions when moving to, from, or around the state of Michigan. So if you like that sort of thing, check out some of the other videos on my channel. And if you wanna make a move in the next three days to three years, reach out because I'm also a full-time real estate agent and I can help you make the move. All right, so let's get into this list. Number 10 on the list is Bloomfield Township, Michigan in Oakland County. The average home in Bloomfield Township, Michigan is $523,000. And there's over 18,000 houses here. 18,000 is a lot of houses and it's sort of like spread out, spread out like jelly on toast. Average tax bill here is a little over $6,000, but that is for residents that have lived there for a long time. So don't expect to pay that when you move here. If you made a move to Bloomfield Township right now, you could expect to pay over $11,000 in taxes if you bought the average home. Wow, that's a lot of money. 11 to 14, that's a lot of money. So Bloomfield Township is located just northwest of Birmingham off the Woodward Corridor and close to just about everything. And that's one of the beauties of it. So one of my favorite things about Bloomfield Township is the location, obviously, and the variety of homes. So if you like sort of that Birmingham, Michigan vibe, but you want a bigger lot, this is probably going to be your spot. Big houses, big lots, not the store. Coming in at number nine on our list is Northville Township, Michigan. Average property here is worth $526,000. And there's over 11,000 houses here. I'm mean, actually close to like 12,000. So the current resident of Northville Township pays right around $6,000 in taxes, but again, you can't expect to pay that when you move in. I made a whole video about taxes and why they go up the way that they do when you move into houses in Michigan. Taxes? I don't pay no damn taxes. You should check it out after this video. So today on the market, there are 32 houses available in Northville Township and only eight of them are $500,000 and under. So. You're gonna spend some cash if you wanna move here, but it's one of the most expensive places to live in Michigan, so what did you expect? The rest of those houses go up to $5.3 million. Gets pricey. I made a whole bunch of videos about Northville, including one all about neighborhoods that have homes available in the $500,000 price range, and you can check it out here. So Northville is in one of the sort of perfect locations. It's close to sort of everything. It's close to Target, it's close to Costco, close to downtowns and shopping. That's what everybody really wants to know, right? They wanna know like, where am I gonna live? Where can I go shop? Coming in at number eight on the list is Webster Township, Michigan. Wait, where? Webster Township. This is probably the first time I've talked about Webster Township on this channel. Welcome to the channel, Webster. Average price of a home here is about $534,000 and the average property tax bill was a little over $5,000. So again, that's what the current residents are paying. You will pay more if you buy here, a lot more, like eight to $10,000 a year more. Right now on the market, the only houses available here are ranging from 500,000 to the $1 million price point point, but the lots are huge. So if you want to be sort of close to stuff and you want to have a giant lot, Webster Township might be your spot. So where in the heck is Webster Township? Excellent question. It's on the west side of the state in between Ann Arbor and Brighton. And it's where you sort of want to move if you want to be away from things but sort of close to things. Like you can go to Brighton, you can go to Ann Arbor, but you can just go back to Webster to your house. I like to ask people when they're moving here, how far away would you like to be from life? So this is sort of far away from life, but sort of close to life. Coming in at number seven on the list is Birmingham, Michigan. You know, I would have thought that Birmingham would be like number one or number two, but it's not. Average home value here is $590,000, and there are over 10,000 homes in Birmingham. If you look at Birmingham, it's not very big. So what that means is, you have a lot of homes smashed into a very small area. So that's small lots, big houses. The average tax bill for the current residents is a little over $8,000 a year. 
I don't want to have to keep saying this, it's going to go up when you move there. So Birmingham, Michigan is located right off the Woodward Corridor and is one of the nicest small town areas in Metro Detroit. And it's actually a favorite of everyone who moves here from California. Just about. Coming in at number six on our list is Ann Arbor Township, Michigan, located in Washtenaw County. I talk a lot about Wayne County and Oakland County, but Washtenaw County is just slightly out there, just a little bit. Average home value here is $632,000, and there's a little over 2,000 households here. It can be a little confusing because there's Ann Arbor Township and then the city of Ann Arbor. There are way more homes in the city of Ann Arbor. So it's, it seems like it's more expensive to live in Ann Arbor Township, and that's because you've got less homes, higher value. So if you look at the city of Ann Arbor, there's over 51,000 homes there with an average price point of a little over $400,000. So it's still not cheap, but it's just not as small and as expensive as Ann Arbor Township. So Ann Arbor Township, if you don't know, is located on the far west side of Metro Detroit, but it's still close to just about everything. It's only 30 minutes away from DTW Airport and about 45 minutes ish from Detroit, depending on when you're driving. One of the best things about living in Ann Arbor Township is it's close to just about everything and there's so much to do. You've got parks, you've got shops, you've got restaurants, you've got a river. How many cities have a river in them? And there's a Costco. I can't tell you how many times people ask me like how far away is this house from Costco. Big plan. So I'm going to Costco. <laughs> I got a few things to pick up. I should just make like a Costco finder on my website and just be like, this is real house in relation to Costco. No one asks about Sam's Club. What do you like more? That's a good question. Sam's Club or Costco? Let me know. Duke it out in our comment section. Actually, if you lived at the furthest point of Ann Arbor, you'd still only be 15 minutes away from Costco. So there you go. Coming in at number five is Gross Point Shores, Michigan. So Gross Point Shores is actually located in both Wayne and Macomb County, a little tricky. And it has an average price point of $698,000. There's only about 1,300 homes here. So again, it's not a very big city, but it's in a collection of cities. And when I say a collection of cities, if you look at it on a map, you've got Gross Point Park, Gross Point, Gross Point Farms, Gross Point Shores, and Gross Point Woods. It's pretty gross over there. But Gross Point Shores is the most expensive of all the grosses. If you were to buy an average home here at $700,000, Today, your tax bill would be about $19,000 a year. So it's an expensive place to live, but it's so nice. So Gross Point Shores is located just northeast of the city of Detroit and is the furthest Gross Point away. It's the pointiest point. Again, not cheap to live here. The average value might be 700,000, but it's gonna cost you a lot more if you actually wanna buy a nice house here. Over half of the available real estate for sale today on the market is north of a million dollars. So if you can afford it, I think you should do it. Coming in at number four on our list is Franklin Village, or the Village of Franklin. Whatever, Franklin Village, Village of Franklin, tomatoes, tomatoes. There's gonna be somebody in the comment section like all up in arms because I messed it up. We're just gonna call it Franklin. Average home value here is $706,000. And there's a little over a thousand homes here. So again, small, but big lots. The average owner here pays over $10,000 in taxes every year, but you will pay more if you buy there. This is where you go if you wanna find like a big estate style home. The location of Franklin is sort of perfect, but again, it's very hidden. It's located right in between Farmington Hills and Beverly Hills, sort of like a little pocket. And it's so, I talk about this all the time, it's so small, you drive through it and you don't even know you did. It's only 2.66 square miles total of land. It's like a little hidden village. Now you know about it, you can find it. A little note about Franklin Village is some of the wealthiest people in Michigan live there. Coming in at number three on our list is Orchard Lake, Michigan in Oakland County. Average home value here is $773,000. I'm actually surprised that this wasn't number one or number two on the list because there are some crazy expensive houses available here. If you don't believe me, you should jump on over to Zillow sometime and take a look. It's located only three miles from Pontiac and about 16 miles from the city of Detroit. So it's pretty, pretty central location. Coming in at number two on our list is Bloomfield Hills, Michigan, AKA Mansion Land. If you're looking for a mansion on like an acre or two, Bloomfield Hills, so many hills. Average home value here is 
thousand dollars, but you're gonna pay a lot more if you wanna live there. And there's only about 1,600 houses here total. If you bought an average home at $856,000, you would pay about $15,000 a year in taxes. That's a lot of money in taxes, but you know, it's worth it if you can buy it. It's located about 20 miles away from the city of Detroit, and it's almost completely surrounded by Bloomfield Township. You've got Bloomfield Hills, Bloomfield Township sort of all around it, like eating it. I always wondered if like Bloomfield Hills was just like the hilly, the hilly section of Bloomfield. Makes sense. I mean, like Farmington Hills seems like it's the hilly section of Farmington, so. Maybe? Just a quick note, if you move to Bloomfield Hills, you're either going to be in the Bloomfield or Birmingham School District. Both are pretty amazing, so look into that. Number one on our list, the hidden gem of all hidden gems, the place that I was even surprised to see at the top of the list is Lake Angeles, Michigan. Where the hell is that? I call it hidden because very few people live there and very few people can afford to live there. The average home value is over $1.3 million. That's a lot of money. And the average tax bill here is well over $10,000 and not just a little over $10,000. We're talking like 40, 50, 60, 70, thousand dollars a year in tax over the past year only five homes have sold in lake angeles michigan and the lowest one was 1.2 million dollars the most expensive was 3.2 million so it is nice did i mention it's on a lake lake angeles it's a real lake it's a private all sports lake that's 477 acres and only you and your residents and family and friends can go out on it. So you're not gonna have like Airbnb beers all over, all over the place. Lake Angeles is primarily located in Auburn Hills, except for a small portion on the western side of the lake, which is in Waterford Township. If you're living in Lake Angeles, Michigan, and you wanna make a trip to downtown Detroit, that's gonna take you about 35, 45 minutes, so not too far away. And if you wanna head to the airport, it's about an hour. So again, pretty close, but you know, you live in a, a crazy lake house. Fun fact, Lake Angeles was originally named Three Mile Lake, and I assume they went and like measured it again. They're like, it's not three miles, so let's rename it. I don't know, if you know the real reason, let me know. If you're interested in some other hidden gem cities available in Michigan, check out this video I made here, and I'll see you there.